Fredericks not only build specialized and special purpose vehicles, but also test these. As with the example of the Toyota Land Cruiser 200, which has undergone extensive testing, in comparison, the approximately 4 tons armored vehicle and the series vehicle with about 2.6 tons. What are the pitfalls of armoring? How can they be avoided? Where can be optimized? We seized a good opportunity. We met two students studying at the University of Applied Sciences in Frankfurt. They also need practical work for their bachelor's thesis. Both students had applied with us, and that was a win-win situation for us. We were able to help both students to complete the practice work on interesting assignments, and we participate that we can use the results very well for our development of armored vehicles. The main focus of the test was on two topics. First and foremost, the driving dynamics of both vehicles should be compared. These included acceleration measurements and brake tests. Carl Fredericks does not only armor vehicles, it also optimizes brake systems, chassis, and more. Having reliable statements for this is vital. The tests were carried out in the area of Frankfurt in Germany. The rollout test took place from 120 to 20 kilometers per hour. For the acceleration measurement, it was checked how fast the vehicle accelerates to 100 kilometers per hour. Braking tests were carried out upon emergency braking at 100 kilometers per hour and a maximum pressure of 500 Newton on average, both with and without brake booster. Different measuring devices were used. It was important from the outset that the tests were carried out under everyday conditions and not under laboratory conditions. The other point is then more also than theoretical. The other aspect is rather theoretical, such as determining the vehicle's center of gravity in comparison to the production vehicle, since by installing the tank materials and the armored glazing, the focus moves upward, as well as the static points as the weight, the weight gain, the individual axle loads, and the center of gravity. Now we have all data available. So that we quasi then all the data stehen haben. The tests have revealed interesting facts. The armored vehicle, including occupants, is about 1.9 tons heavier than its unarmored counterpart. Nevertheless, the brake tests have shown that even with failed brake booster, all standards have been met. And the vehicle braked even more than it should. The acceleration test showed that while the vehicle accelerates slower, the feeling of security due to the general feeling in the vehicle has strongly increased at the same time. Despite the higher weight, the tilt angle is almost unchanged. The center of gravity shift of the vehicle is moved to the rear. We thank the students for their commitment. Thanks also to my staff for the preparation of the vehicles. So we have a win-win situation. The students were able to perfectly prepare the practical work for their bachelor thesis. We participate in these good results for our future development and design of special vehicles.